Hello there, Blaziken. And my master invisible. There we go. Nice. Set that there. We good. Alright. Turn the game up a little bit. I think it's been kind of quiet. Well, let's go talk to the lovely lady. Wait, let me check one more thing. And then I'm going to repeat what I just said. Good, I just start recording again. Now. Now. Let's go talk to the lovely lady. Wait, by which I mean you don't have any ketchup for me, so I give a fuck. N do any of you guys carry ketchup in the form of currency? Currents up? There's ketchup. Of course, there's this person that kind of looks like a swamp monster over there. So, anyway, it's got my favorite bottle of ketchup. Now the guy looks over at me, you suspicious little... I see a mine, my daughter. Waiter, can I please have some hot sauce so I can square right in his eyes? Now let me sit down and give you your favorite ketchup bottle for dinner. She just eats it right from the bottle. All I have are memories of you. And this guilt. Of killing you, because that's what it looks like it's leading up to, but maybe there's more. Sometimes it's not the what, it's the why. And nothing I can and nothing I do can bring you back to me. Which is why we're just now murdering everybody. If I can't have you, they all will be killed. My logic is sound. Let's go back out. That door's open. Before I interact with this, there are more doors than interact. Yeah, there are. This makes life hard, because I want to explore. Sounds like the music's coming from over there, though, so I'm going to look over here first. That's locked. This is open. Full of everyone's favorite unicorn sets. There's a hook here. Somebody really didn't like me looking at that. Oh, did the music go away? I wanted to check out where the music was coming from. Oh, this door's opened up now? Daddy let me die. You're right. <laughs> let me just go on back then. <clears throat> it took a lot while to put that up, I bet. It was a bajillion sticky notes. The devil's just having a Jacob's Ladder moment, don't mind him. Ah, let's go inside here. Nope. Oh. Interesting rituals you guys got going on here. There's another knife I can pick up. It's okay. We all know what this means. It's time for a murder. Now, who's in the door that we haven't been in so far? There's blood trailing into here. It sure is dark in here. Hi. Is that what they just said? Not home. The sign scrolled out. There's no place like not home. C3PO needs to stop hanging himself. Then you heard the voice said there. Let's just walk on down through here. It sure is dark in this. You. You. There's nothing wrong with that thing moving. I'm sure we're fine. A lot of pipes here, too. Just pull out a chair. Enjoy your favorite metal gated view. Hmm. Hello, sir. Who is now going to be stabbed probably by me. This mask thing. So there were cult signs earlier. Is, is there a cult behind this? Open your eyes. I saw a man half sliced off, and now there was a face that was just peeled off. Like a mask. I'm good at spying these things that flash up on the screen. All right. At least I think I am. Noticeably, there's now some little blood stains by the bed there. Anything inside the bathroom now, dear? No, we're still not going to see her face. The face of a killer. No, okay. 
back on outside we go. Where will we stop? Sweetie. What did I tell you about appearing in mirror realities while ignoring the real world? Of course, now she's gone. Just like everything else in my life. Except this home, which apparently somehow I'm paying off because we're still here and no one's evicting me. I didn't even take any of my stuff from the looks of it. More... I want to say blood, but it almost looks like jam. Has been splarled on the walls. Anything going on in my, in my little girl's room? Oh, there's something here. My daddy. But there's something that's scrawled out and looks like the door in the house should now be open or something. That's the door that's inside the kitchen, I think. So that means that it's maybe open. All right, which probably is the door that leads into the basement. Um, reminds me of this one house I lived in for a time that had the uh, door to the basement and the kitchen. I always thought that was one of the creepiest things. You'd just be going for a sandwich, and if the door to the basement was open, you'd just be eyeing it suspiciously like there's something wrong here. I can't see stains, so you claim. Nothing to the people. That's okay. Well, the picture note literally showed that the door over here was in blood, so it probably means the door over here is not going to be open, so... Let's -a go. You're probably open. I'll check you in a second. I'm sort of just going over here. I wonder if we have a bottle of ketchup here. It's because my goddamn daughter is like seeing ketchup straight from the bottle. It's what she lives off of. She's like, Daddy, can you go to the store and get me more ketchup? And I'm like, okay, sweetie. Let's go on down. Hello, basement. Surprisingly bright for a basement. But, hey. Not yet. That's what it looks like it's almost saying. Not you. or Not life, home, family. Not your life, home, family. So wait, is this not my life or home or family? Am I like a crazy person who thinks this is my daughter and it's not my daughter? There's a theory. Nothing back here, it's on track with the little house. I felt empty. I just wanted to be happy. I'm sure I can be happy in this huge house I'm about to get into. The door's open. Before I go in there, isn't there anything over here? Probably not. Didn't think so. Let's enter inside our brand new mansion. The mansion shows off. Ooh. Is those people in religious garbs? Part of my cult family? I can enter inside there, but there's a few places looks like I might be able to go into. I'm going to assume that they know that most people are going to enter inside this door first. I'll do it first. Father, welcome to the church of the cult for I have sinned. Man in a wheelchair. Man in a wheelchair, let's converse. Oh, you're a woman in a wheelchair and you've in fact slit your throat so you can no longer... Ooh, somebody's coming in. This is unfortunate. And also, they, notably, they have a picture of me with my daughter. Or is that even me with my daughter? It could be a different person wearing a different shirt. Maybe it was just me wearing a different shirt on a different day, but regardless. Something sounds like it banged. I was thinking maybe something fell over, but I don't see anything in here that's fallen over at the very least. Let's continue our investigation of this strange home. She dead. Woman on the wall. Okay, let's try this door. I think it was the bookshelf that fell over. It's a possibility, no? Those pictures are going pretty crazy. It's the future with movable pictures. There's one right there I'll interact with, probably of my girl. Yes. Sapling with a person with a big grin. She looks a little derpy there, actually. There's also notably blood fingerprints on this picture. And the music. Oh, okay. You got very panicky. That actually did scare me somewhat. You were that happiness. Well, I'm back here. Some questions. I'm forming some theories, but we'll see how it goes down, I guess. 
back to investigate, quote unquote, my home. <laughs> Upstairs I go. Did something finally happened in the sink. It does look a little bit bloodier than it did just a second ago. Yep, there is a blood trail streaming right into the sink along the bloody edge of a plate and a spoon. I guess devil does need something to eat every once in a while, so I thought I'd just reuse the same plate and spoon that I've been keeping in the sink for a few days, apparently, supposedly. Hmm. I mean, this there's still this blood trail going upstairs, obviously supposed to be leading me up there. There's a few... Uh, I don't want to touch it. See, you told yourself you're going to clean it up. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. What a sweet little thing you have there with your new devil horns. I'm not sure they're like just trees connected or something, but yeah. I... There's still a few uh, doors and places in our house we haven't really investigated, so... Mine! Let me check her room. My daddy. Nothing new going on with the mask. And really don't see much else. Okay, so it's not inside the daughter's room. Is it going to finally be the bathroom? Or is it going to be that one door that's been locked up until now? I bet it's the door that's been locked until now. Because we just went to the basement, which is another door that was locked until now. Are you open? Where's the key, that key? So now he's knowing that there was a key once, which means let's go investigate and look for it. Is it over here? Didn't think so. Nothing in there this time. I think we kept it in the goddamn bathroom. Doesn't seem like it. Well, of course, it was inside the towel, but nope. Okay, so bed. Until I have to reskin the house for a key. Are you here? No. Okay. Maybe by investigating the door and figuring out that I need a key, I can now find said key. Wait, wait, wait. There's something here that highlighted that I almost didn't notice. Tricky. I know you're still here. Yep, key under the picture frame. Notably, they keep my eyes and most of my face out of the portrait, so. And now a flashback to a forest. Are we gonna be growing more trees with our daughter's book corpse? I don't know, let's uh, check through here. Mm -hmm. Now it led into a cave. A secret government cave that apparently I broke through for reasons. Don't question my objectives. Sure, I'll go down to the hatch. The secret government facility hidden in the cave in the forest. Someone here is not very happy. Are this the way government experiments are? I'll look for things. Look at those hain doodles. Inside the box, I find a key. Hmm. Well, that's been collected. Let's go on back out. What else may be in here? This can be open, I'm not sure if I need the key or not, but sure is dark in here. It's okay, I'll be fine. I'll just march and ooh. Fancy. People need to really stop hanging themselves around these parts. That part's even cut in half like the corpse I saw earlier in the little flash. There's the fat guy that I think I killed earlier, so this is just where I keep everything. Satan. In the eyes of the Samuel Devil. That is a lot of corpses. Apparently I've been at this for a while. Time to sit down and appreciate my work. After a long day's work, there's nothing like sitting down and examining my corpses. And I will always remember. Well, I've gained my key and learned that I have a secret cave facility where I stuff all my bodies. So that's fun. It's a fun deal. Really surprised I haven't done anything with that mirror so far. But you never know when it might eventually come into play. Out I go. I keep all my bodies stuffed in a cave. To be precise, a hidden facility inside a cave. It's not really that hidden, it's got a pretty obvious hatch. But hey, no one's found it yet, so, you know, what do I know? 
they both flashed away. But before I go into the obvious storm I'm supposed to go inside, I'm gonna look around a little bit. Never know, there might be something that is like hidden, some hidden scene for people who are dumb and explore like me. Like, I just see something flash. I swear to God, I just saw something flash. Maybe I'm just goddamn crazy. I probably am just goddamn crazy. Notably, that time both the devil and the girl popped up, so maybe my answers are in there. Maybe that's where I keep my daughter's body. Or where my daughter keeps my body when I find out I'm really all but a ghost. And killed myself already, or that's not what I actually think is going on. But if it was, then I called it. <clears throat> I don't want to touch it. I want to look outside. No, I don't. Okay, you know, I don't really care. Yeah, no, I'm already here. I'll take a look. I don't actually think there's anything going on. I bet they just want me to go inside the door. There's like no hidden scene this way, but... On the off chance that there is, I'll look around. Basement first. If there's any place hidden scene to be right now, my guess would be the basement, but I don't actually think there's anything here, so... Me strolling through seems to confirm there is nothing here. It's okay. Not your life, home family. Nah, one of the three, or maybe all three. It does seem to imply that's not, this isn't my home, this isn't my life, and this isn't my family. Maybe there's something more going on with that. Alas, there was in fact nothing else inside the house. But it was a little bit of reflection time. Sometimes we always need to prance around our house and think about things. Like if that's actually my daughter, and if I killed her, which I most likely did, even if she wasn't my daughter. Let's go up to there. Let's take a look. Well, it's the attic. So I got a lot of candles out for just the just such an occasionally ritual. Obviously, you cannot pull that away. I always got somebody dead up here. Where are you, my wife? Because I loved you from the first day I saw you. That's a little uh, interesting jacket. Wandering in the dark crevices of this yellow home. I'm sorry, folks. I couldn't live in a house that its outside was painted yellow. Unless, of course, it was absolutely necessary. And yet, this is neighborhood filled with nothing but yellow houses. Looks like a place that goddamn Winnie the Pooh wouldn't mind living in. Notably, there's me again. I did see another me earlier, and I finally found meaning in my life by taking his identity. I followed him and his daughter. I examined all these scenes because I'm not really him. He's not really me. Yep, it was the guy in the jacket earlier when I saw my jacket that I realized it. That wasn't right, Ron. He was watching her daughter. I said it as a joke, but I was thinking if people would notice there. Yep. Took his place, because I wanted a happy family. Blech. No parent should outlive their child. Oh, that's a nice way to tie that in, because he killed the father first, and then he's going to kill the daughter. Oh, because it's a double meaning. That's that's actually kind of clever. I didn't expect that. Yep. Whisper to death. I'm so sorry. I can't let you go. Is that the end of the game, or is there a little bit more? There's a little bit more. Even if it's just a scene. There's the guy that we saw with the crosses on on the tile screen. Yep. I just wanted a family. Well, that's a little grotesque. That would explain the face mask I saw earlier, though. To be a father that protects. I admit that's kind of interestingly gruesome. Now no one can hurt you. Cause you're dead. Yep. I 
I did see the deface thing earlier. That's a bit interestingly gruesome again. I did not mean to click that. Ah. And so whenever that says, you will always be with me. Well, if you're wearing my face, then sure. Or I'm wearing your face. If I'm going to take myself as the role of the character. Oh, look, there's this face on my face right now. I actually liked it well enough for what it was. Nice little story, even though I kind of saw the twist coming a while ago when I started putting the pieces together. But not bad. And I like the gruesome details. There's a few interesting double meanings there, which I thought were nice. And some of the imagery probably revealed more about the story. I think if I didn't notice some of the imagery that was flashing, I wouldn't have figured out the story as quickly as I did. It's only because I got a very keen eye. But yeah, yeah. Some of the imagery definitely suggested some things, but still, though, found to be an enjoyable little, I guess, story romp. It was really just a sort of interactable story than anything, but that's fine. I don't mind. I like games like that, even. Still. That was... <laughs> made with Construct 2. Sorry, it's because I was flashed by the stream. To my family and friends, thank you for your patience and support. Mahal no can... So a person's first language probably isn't English there, so... And yeah, that was settled. Though I don't know if they'd want their family and friends to play this game, but hey, you never know. Maybe their family and friends are horror fans. Who, who am I to judge? A game by Alan Dan. There you go. I'll let the credits roll, and then I'll go through this. Still, though, this has been Aesthetic Gamer. I got Desk Golem. Hope you guys enjoyed this little short uh, romp into a man wearing another man's degloved face. Until next time, adieu to all of you. Settled. <laughs> but I'm gonna scroll down the screen. Hey. Yeah.